All right, beautiful people. Welcome back to another amazing and impactful episode of the True Health Forever podcast, where we try to live our best life through the lens of holistic health. I'm your host, Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game. And as usual, I have with me the smile, the, ooh, the super smile, <laughs> <laughs> the curl rific, the laughing MBA queen herself. Talk to the people. <laughs> What's up, party people? My name is Sinclair Walker, MB. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I am, uh, or wow, what is what, 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 what do we call you? My here? whole intro. My look name at that. Sinclair. Got an MBA and get brand new on us. Look, look at it. Go ahead. Let me try this again. My name mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is Sinclair, aka the health nerd. nerd. There we go. And um, yes, I am here, fresh with my. MBA. Hey, so fresh and so clean, clean. Hey, hey. Ain't nobody got nothing. She got her MBA. Hey, hey, hey. Got her MBA. Hey, hey, hey. All that. Off the top. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Queen, you know how we do check ins. How you doing? How your vibes? No, you don't have any homework. Don't worry. Bruh. It's real. Like, it, I feel like that feeling of like just feeling you always have something to do, especially on Sundays. Today mm-hmm. is Sunday, and Sundays was always the day that things were due. I'm so used to like, all right, you know, get work stuff done and then go straight into homework and for the rest of the night, basically. Yeah. Um, so it feels, yeah, it feels, it feels weird, but in like a good weird that I no longer have homework. And it's a very weird feeling because I have been in school basically my whole oh, life. Oh my life. Oh my life. <laughs> so yeah, it feels good. But um, in general, my my energy is great. Nice. Feeling good. Um, this week was. I do want to remind you that because we don't have the typical microphone and our apologies, you know, we're out here traveling. My bad for not bringing the mic. That is my job. But you may have to speak up louder than you usually do because yes, our microphone can pick up your whisper. But this, I'm just, I'm just saying, Queen. This week, mm-hmm. this week was pretty good. It was a pretty chill week, which was good. I was just thinking we're off next week so i was just thinking like oh just finish off finish up strong mm-hmm. um so the fact that the you know finished up my mba today is graduation um Woo! so yeah it was a, a pretty chill week and i was just waiting for really just waiting for vacation to start so <laughs> honestly all year she waits for vacation <laughs> yeah no um but yeah uh, my my frequencies are i'm feeling pretty good i'm feeling pretty darn good nice. here at the parents house so it's always good to good to see they got them. a nice and festive in here yeah and if you're watching on youtube they got a nice and festive in here it's good yeah um i don't know if you wanted to share the other news or if that's something that you kind of took yeah we, 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 we go back past that don't even worry about it erase <laughs> that from your memory um but my week was also pretty darn good there's a lot of like cool black wall street things that happened this week um oh yeah one you know obviously we, we sold out like a few weeks ago which is stress stressful for me but it is a good thing um <laughs> I feel like you're the only person who's not happy I'm about stressed it. about it because <laughs> no like we get tons of like people asking like where else can i buy it where what local bookstores got it when is it coming i wanted it for christmas what happened it's like i feel i don't like disappointing people in general mm-hmm. so even like in a business standpoint like we have this you know we think a good product other people think it's a good product and obviously they want it and I feel bad that they want it and can't get it. Yeah. So that's that's my struggle. Um, we did get featured in Essence mm-hmm. 50, right? Games to oh. get, gift guide, which was dope. Um, and then something else dope happened. Oh, yeah, I was on this Black Wall Street ball. Uh, shout out to uh, Don Glover out here and uh, Be More News. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, but Hannibal B. Johnson, who wrote the book Black Wall Street from Riot to Renaissance, which we read and we got a lot of good nuggets from to make the board game. I was on a call with that man mm-hmm. randomly. Like, oh, like, I don't even know how to put it into words, but long story short, take advantage y'all of opportunities. Like, if people give you the opportunity to be on a podcast, to be on a Black Wall Street ball, Thing, which I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was just I just showed up ready to talk. Um, but yeah, don't don't stay ready because if you stay ready, you ain't stop to get. I was just going to if after you were done, I was just gonna to, to point out the part that you said you were on it, ready to talk. Yeah, I That's like important important part about it. He was on, but ready to talk because you, know, you never know what's gonna happen. You, never you gotta be know. able to shoot the shot. 
exactly like well, right before I I was like you know what let me go ahead and cut my hair like let mm -hmm. me be presentable just in case let me go ahead and throw on a black wall street t-shirt just in case I get on video for whatever reason and then uh Don was like hey Devon you ready and I was like yep <laughs> <laughs> I am put me in the game coach uh so yeah that was that was a good moment too so all in all really great week but today we want to talk about New Year's resolutions, right? Mm -hmm. And I took a pause on it because I'm not, not sure how y'all are going to approach your New Year's because some people are preparing as if 2021 is going to be like a brand new year, a complete reset. And it's like, cool, we're going back to normal. I'm more so, and I think we're more so preparing as if 2021 is going to be very similar to 2020. But long story short, we are going to cover the top five New Year's resolutions and how in a 2021 environment, if it looks like 2020 did, you can still be successful. Right, and doesn't mean you should not have New Year's resolutions, right? You should still treat it um, the same in that way, right? Just because we're in a pandemic doesn't mean that you can't be improving in some way. So still make resolutions, but keep in mind that, and we'll get into this later, but right. keep in mind that it may not look quite the way you want it to, you right. know? As right. long as you get to the destination. Exactly, right. exactly. All right. All right, you good? Yep. All right, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Um, all right, so the queen has the list of the top five. Yeah. So I'm really at your beckoning call on how you would like to go about that. Okay. Go ahead. Do you want to, I can go through all five and then we'll start with the top one. Or do you want to go through each one? Let's go through each one. Okay. So these are, um, you know, the top five. I don't actually know how they get this information, but kind of the top Hashtags. five. <laughs> probably <laughs> um, the top five most popular New Year's resolutions for 2020. Um, so I'm sure we can probably all guess what number one is. Um, so it's to exercise more. Um, and so what we kind of want to do is talk about, okay, you can still have the, have absolutely have the resolution to exercise more just because gyms are closed doesn't mean like, ah, oh, man, never mind, forget about it. Right. Absolutely, you can still have that news, news resolution. So we're kind of going to talk about like, what are some ways you can make that happen if 2021 looks exactly like today? <laughs> exactly. Um, so... Are we just we hop into it, right? Cool. Just dive on in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where that came from. But uh, I'm staring at the beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I do my thing on here. Um, but one thing is again, assume you will not be able to go to the gym. Right. I would say that would be my first advice. Like if you're trying to exercise more as your new year's resolution, don't do not have the gym as your calculus to doing that, working out more figure out how at your house, what is a daily routine that you can do in order to get that done. Uh, so my daily routine is, and I'll do my old one. Our new one involves a bike elliptical, but I'm not sure if everyone has that. So I'll do my old routine. Old routine, get up, do my 100 or 20 affirmations, do 100, now it's 200 uh, push-ups. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to get it, y'all. Let's go, <laughs> 2021. Uh, but do your 200 push-ups. Um, and then we also have an ad wheel. So I'll do like 50 ad wheels. So what body weight stuff can you do every day? No matter if you're at your, your parents' house, your siblings' house, if you're on vacation somewhere, you can do every single day without access to a gym. And keep in mind, like we're saying, um, we are in California. So that's why we're saying assume the gyms are closed because right now they are closed. If you're in a state where they're open, I honestly would still plan just in case like something nationwide does happen. Right. How can I still have this? You, you, your main plan, like if you if the gyms have always been open, they never really close wherever you are, then go ahead, have your primary plan be in the gym. But I would still have a backup plan for, okay, if for some reason for a month or two, the gyms close down, how can I still keep these goals going? Right. Um, so my morning routine, um, again, right now it does involve the bike, but before that, um, the bike is clutch, yo. I would say invest in a bike. Ours was like one. That was on, that was on, on my list too. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would be yoga, and that is something you can. There are like paid prescriptions you can buy. Like you know, we have a. Uh, I have a down dog subscription that I pay for, but you can also easily go find a free YouTube yoga session. Easy. Um, their YouTube is 
vast, okay? And it is, <laughs> and it is amazing, right? You can find a different one to do each day of the week, focusing on different things, different body parts, focusing on strength, focusing on balance, focusing on breathing, flexibility, whatever. Um, just type it in on YouTube and you can find something for free. Yeah. Um, so yoga, and then I usually like to do some type of like functional movements. So I like usually like involving some type of squats, um, but yeah, like- I remember the, the ninja episode. I don't know if y'all yeah. watched the biohacking ninja. <laughs> She, she's been trying to get on that ninja level. Yeah. Uh, so like, uh, you know, lots of stuff like wide, wide leg squats where you got to get all the way down to the ground, like as close to the ground as possible. Um, and I even more recently like added weight to that. So it, it works on the hip mobility. It's, it's really cool. This is a side note. It's really cool because I used to not be able to hold that position at all. Thanks. So it's very cool to be able to see the progression. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like sometimes literally now I'm brushing my teeth. I'm like, I can just stand here and I'll get down to the squat position and brush my teeth. And it's just like, cause I just want to get used to being in it's that commitment. position. Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> cause I just want to get used to being in that position. It, it definitely like widens the hips. It, 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 and honestly now it feels good mm -hmm. before it used to be very painful. Um, but now it feels good. Um, but yeah. And then uh, I also use the ab wheel and I like to, sometimes I will take some of the yoga poses that I do and just, do that yoga pose. Like there's the, the boat position that I like to do for abs. Mm -hmm. I'll just do that for like two minutes gotcha. um, just to work on the abs. I thought you were still saying like while you brush your teeth. I was oh, like, God, no. what? <laughs> That's a whole nother level. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and then previously also before daylight savings, whatever this is called, when it was dark, <laughs> when it used to be light outside, uh -huh. um, I would go outside and do either a, ru a walk or a, a run walk or some type of interval sprint workout. Um, but again, it doesn't cost any money. There's no weights involved. I would just go and I'd you know, sprint for like 30 seconds and then stop, walk for like two minutes, let my heart rate come back down then sprint again for like 30 seconds. And I would do that like six times and, and call it a day. Mm -hmm. um, so those are just some ideas of ways you can still exercise without the gym. I do have some other tips. Um, he mentioned the exercise bike. So we just bought an exercise bike off Amazon for like 120 bucks. Yeah. It's super quiet. So I do my workouts in the morning. So I'm usually, it's like 6 a.m. when I'm working out. So I do have to be quiet. And that bike is super quiet. I grab my book. And I, I, the other day I went for like 25 minutes just reading my book and, and exercising. I built up a nice little sweat. Mm -hmm. You can even add some weights. You can lean back at the abs, oh. you know, target in the abs. So honestly, I love that bike. It was a great nice. per, per, uh, purchase. Nice. Um, there are also similar, like almost like collapsible and portable treadmills you can buy that will literally slide underneath the couch. Mm -hmm. I found one where it, like, it's literally just like a just the bottom part, I don't know what it's called, you know, the bottom part with the belt. And then it's got a, it's got a little, uh, the handle that just folds up so mm. that when you're done with it, it can go back down and slide under the couch. That's a treadmill, right? If you're in a space where it's like, eh, maybe it's not a good neighborhood to go running in or something like that. You can do it while you're on the couch watching. You can't see my legs, but I'm moving my <laughs> legs right now. And you can just be like, while you're watching Netflix, just kind of going on a little, interesting. Yep. Um, you could build a small home gym. Uh, we, you know, uh, before we got the exercise bike, we had slowly been building up a small, inexpensive home gym. Mm -hmm. um, so and by build, we're not saying like physically. literally no. construction, but just accumulate yes. items right. that will make up a gym. We have weights that we've got from thrift stores um, that we use. So you can, I mean, nothing crazy like a, we got a 10 and a 15 and a 25. There's a lot you can do with And those. a 40. And a 40 for him. I, I don't touch that thing. Except for deadlifts, I did try that one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, though, you, know, you can either do want to use weights, you can buy inexpensive weights. Um, other, one more suggestion, is, or sorry, two more suggestions is to join an online workout community. There is literally 1 million of them that have popped up. They're already existing, but nice. there's literally a million that have popped up since this pandemic. So I don't even really need to give you an example. Just type in like workout on Instagram, <laughs> hashtag workout, and you will find a million online communities that you can join nice. that will keep you accountable, work out together via Zoom, things like that. And if there isn't one, you can make one with just yeah. like you, maybe you have some, some friends, some family member, and you can just have a group of like five, 10 people, Facebook group, Zoom link, and boom, you have your own little accountability and workout group. Yep. All right. Every day at 7.30, we, we do our workout together. Um, and then lastly, if you, if you do want to find something body weight that you want to do, um, I, we briefly talked about, you know, doing some mobility exercises, you can practice functional mobility that does not require anything but a space to space to work out in. 
Um, and so honestly, what, what I do to find my workouts is I go to Instagram and I type in hashtag animal flow. Um, and I find there's, there's a million people doing, not a million, because it is still kind of new, but there are enough people that, <laughs> that are putting their workouts online. And so I'll just find, and you know, a lot of them, they'll say exactly what this works on. This is a hip mobility workshop, uh, workout or whatever. And I just find them and I save them. I make a bookmark in my, uh, in the same, Instagram. In, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I want to do a body weight workout, I will go to that and I'll just find a, find a workout and, and do it. Pro tip. So when you save things on Instagram, they get saved to your collections. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you can have different collections. Yep. So I have now a home workout collection. I have a container home collection. Nice. I have a black, black history collection. So you click save and then it's going to see something pop up. And then you click another button like right as it pops up and you can create a different collection list too. Just food for thought, in case you're wondering. Um, but that, that's pretty much what I have for some tips for um, how you can still make exercising more a new year's resolution that is absolutely attainable in 2021. There it is. So we get, we gave y'all a lot in that one more than I thought we were going to give y'all to be honest with you. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Um, it's definitely still possible to have a consistent workout schedule to still lose weight, gain muscle, train for a marathon, like whatever you're trying to do, you can still do it without the gym. It takes maybe just a little bit more discipline, a little bit more training or uh, not training, planning, mm -hmm. but it can for sure still happen. So please do not give up on those health goals out there, those fitness goals. Y'all can do it, stay strong. And if you need help, reach out. Drill forever, we got you. Um, all right, number two on the list, Queen, hit us with it. You are gonna help, hopefully be helpful for this one. It is. <laughs> It's all about the moon now. Hey, 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 hey. It is to save money. That is the oh. second most popular New Year's resolution. I feel like, again, you know, I'm going to try to be respectful, but I feel like it's easier than ever to save money because you're not supposed to be doing too much, mm -hmm. right? If you are usually going out to uh, the clubs or going out to, to parties, meeting with friends, you really shouldn't be doing too much of that. So already your money's down. Um, for at least me, I'm privileged enough to where I can work from home. So I don't need to drive into work anymore. So that gas money that I was spending, saving. Yeah. But long story short, it all comes down to your budget. Yeah. Create your budget and make sure you stick with this budget for 2021. I think it's very easy with everything going on to make emotional purchases. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are spending more money, me, me included, like books, are kind of my emotional, oh, uh, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but books are kind of like my emotional crutch. I was like, oh man, let me go ahead and buy a few books. Um, but I'm sure if I look back at how much money I've spent on books during the pandemic, it's probably way more than what I spent last year on books. Just because I'm home more, I'm on the internet more, and I want to learn more, which isn't a bad thing, but it's still emotional spending technically. Um, so I would just make sure that you, before you actually purchase some things, check, do I need this? If I purchase this, what type of wealth will I get in return, right? So when I buy a book, I buy a book because I can make a course out of this book. I buy a book because I can now do a Black Study Snacks video off of this book, right? So it does have some type of return. So if you're going to buy those coach shoes, those Louis Vuitton belts, that Hermes hat, like whatever it is that you're going to buy or you're going to cruise, going on vacation, okay, but think about how will this expense return wealth to me at some point during the 2021 year. Um, I don't know if saving money also includes how can we create an additional stream of income or if that's a different I knew, I knew that was going to come up for you. So, yeah, so <laughs> I feel like it, it, that is a way to, to save money, right? Mm -hmm. Is to increase your income, then you can put more away. Um, <laughs> you increase your income, you can put more away. Am I supposed to keep going? You are. I just feel like there's a lot of people here. Like I have an event or something. Okay. So hello, beautiful, amazing people. Welcome to Sinclair's MBA celebration. Oh my God. I'm not hey. Oh, Woo. wow. Woo. <laughs> I, I kept seeing people popping up. I'm like, what is what is going on? Wow, I'm out of it. Hi. Well done, team. 
Thanks, everybody. Well, congratulations. Yes. I thought you were going to go on and finish that thing.